Hiya you guys, it's Zach here from Resident Soul Farm. We've come to the end of this project. Customers over the moon with it. We just come back yesterday, put the black strip along the front just to tie it up nice and neatly. So today we're in Shirley. Okay, so on this project, it's very straightforward. What Raz is doing, he's on the free ton machine today, ripping up all the, uh, the old flags. We'll take up the block and all, also the grass. Everything's going to be coming out. What the customer wants is grass going to be from over at that corner there to around about where I'm stood now. And we're going to put brand new turf in. We're then going to be using a resin bowel mix. Customer wants to park about three to four cars in this driveway, so that's going to be definitely possible. On the front of the driveway, we're going to be using a buff coloured block edge. We've got a double skin block from the nose where the turf starts. We're then going to turn to a single skin to just outline where the turf is and its path. Uh, the customer's gone with the uh, cappuccino mix in UV resin. Right, so as you can see here, it's going on perfectly now. Starting ripping it all up. Three ton machine makes light work on most projects. If we can get them on, normally we get stuck with the 1.5s on standard driveways. So we're just waiting on the grab guys to turn up now, dropping off just short of 15 ton of MOT type one for our first load. Take away this. I'm gonna put some tram down in a second to put the MOT type one on top of. Get it whacking in nice and uh, compact ready for the edging work tomorrow so plan for today day one rip it all out put this new stone down job done ready for day two get all the edging work in day three top soil it get the turf in possibly get the concrete in, in the afternoon should take three days if that's done on a really good tight schedule uh, but we're planning on four Okay, so now we've done the main part of the dig off. Grab guys are here. He just dropped off a 13 ton of MOT Type 1. We're putting the membrane down. So hopefully he gets all this on one load. Chances are very slim. It's going to be a little bit left over. So if that's the case, we'll get the, uh, the digger trailer here later on. Just to get rid of the last load. Says so bringing the grab man back out. And he's going to get, get, we're going to get all this stone spread. Then we're going to get a really good whacker down. On route. <laughs> right guys, so we've had a cracking first day. What we've done is obviously we've dug it all off. As you can see now, we've got the MOT type one down, a nice depth of MOT stone in. What Andy's gonna do in a minute, just before we leave, is just give it a good ceiling. So run over with a whacker so it's nice and compacted, just in case it rains. Last thing you ever want to do is leave open stone, open to, to elements of rain. So the plan tomorrow is we've got all the buff blocks in. And he's going to start throwing in the double skin front nose using a single skin out of the buff block. We're then going to separate where his garden's going to go. We're going to be back and forth in the tipper. We're expecting possibly about six to seven tonne of topsoil to go in there before we turf it. But apart from that, we've absolutely smashed it today. On to the next. Alright, so there's been quite a bit of improvement made on this job so far. What Andy's been doing today is putting in the block edges. So he's just about to start on the front nose. The customer's gone with a basket weave and also the buff coloured block. We reckon by the end of today all the block work will be in. By tomorrow the plan is we've had some uh, recycled MOT delivered for the garden area just to raise it up so we're not using as much topsoil more than waste than we need. Uh, once that's gone in nice and flat we're then going to be back and forth with some grade A topsoil, get the turf in and it's going to be ready for the porous concrete to go down, ready for the resin. Easy. Okay, so as you can see here now, we're ready for the concrete stage. We're going to be putting the porous in. All the block works in nicely. Returfed it for him as well. It's coming to the end of this job, so we'll get the concrete in today, give it a week, resin down. Lovely. Right, so as you can see now, the porous is going in. So what it is, it's a mix with no sand in it, extra cement with the stone. So what Andy's doing now is just getting it raked out as flat as he possibly can. And what we're going to do is put the whacker over, just to compact and seal it. Solid when this goes in, and it's fully porous. 
So obviously there's no need for your air core drains. It'll just rain straight through. Yeah, so it's resin day. Porous concrete's gone off set nicely. It's been sat for 10 days. Grass is taken. That's out around the back now. I've got to do a quick run to the resin mill as I've ever so slightly under ordered. Can't take any chances with this. So it's a two hour round trip. Now to get back with two extra mixes. Here's what it is. See in two hours. Let's see how this gets along. Guys, it's Zach here from Resident and South Island. We've come to the end of this project. Customers over the moon with it. We just come back yesterday, put the black strip along the front just to tie it up nice and neatly. If you'd like to see how we built this project from start to finish, please like this video for more.